tell you how you can move a contact to a contract and increase your business with the push of a button. Good morning, hyperlocal real estate agents. I am so excited to bring you a little quick tip. You probably noticed that we are gravitating away from our evening training sessions. And if you are missing them, let me know. We can certainly work out something, but I want to bring you a little bit of a quick tip. Life is getting busier as we speak, right? So in this episode of the little quick tip, what I want to share with you is how you can get a contact to a contract almost like this with the snap of your fingers. So if you are just tuning in, I would love to know where you're tuning in from. Let me know. And I have here received an email. And for those of you listening to the podcast episode later, I will describe it. In this email, what I received was text and then it had buttons. Now, how many of you guys have used buttons in your email communication? You see me do it quite often, especially in communication to your, um, to well, to you, fr quite frankly. And why do I do that? Well, we have a habit of pushing buttons, right? Um, it starts out really, really early. If you've got kids at home, there's something about a big button that people like to push. Um, and we just press it. So here's an example that I received in my email. It simply had a little bit of text. We would be happy to be your partner in the journey. It says we've been um, more to share about your local market. We're happy to talk with you. Questions, call us. We're here to answer. And then it has this awesome button right underneath that says request a consultation, no obligation. So that in itself, guess what happens when you push that button? When you push this button and every email provider is different, but when you push this button, you typically are telling the system a couple different things it can do. It can bring you to a completely different website. Okay, which is what you guys see me oftentimes do if I want to point you somewhere and email is a great way to just communicate and then it will redirect you wherever the person wants you to go. If I want you to go inside the Hyperlocal Real Estate Agent Facebook group, I will point it there. If I want you to go to our website, thehyperlocalagent.com, I will point you there, right? I can make sure that I can have a web address in it, but that's not all this amazing button can do. This button can also give you instant access to a file, okay? And you, again, if you've been on my email list for a while, you've seen this before where I use this button for you to simply download a PDF, grab your freebie, right? And this button can do the same here. But this is also not what this specific button is doing in the email I received. This specific button is simply opening up a window for an email response. It's an auto-populated email that already has the recipient's name in it. It already has a subject in it, and it already has the start of the email written in it, which says, um, my home address is, and then it goes to the, um, you know, you can type in your home address. So this is all going to an email. Same with the next one. So if you're looking at the screen right now, you can see it. There's a second button. If you are looking or if you're listening to the podcast, you don't see it, but it says your home value is increasing. First of all, great statement to start with. Um, find out what your home would sell for today. What's my house worth? And then again, a button. Now that button is in this instant leading to an email. Personally, I think we can do a little bit better with an instant gratification um, way of being, but this is how it's structured. And by simply adding more of a direct way for your client to reply, interact, communicate, right? Whatever we can do to give them a means to raise their hand and say, hey, I have a real estate need which then in turn signals to us we need to talk to that person as opposed to just spraying our message all over the board, right? So hopefully this was helpful. If you have not considered using buttons, 
consider implementing some buttons in your email marketing in 2022. And what else is coming our way this month is the mailer bootcamp and there's no buttons on the mailer. Maybe we should try it actually, but um, there's some awesome, awesome stuff we can do with that because from our mailer, we are leading them somewhere where there will be buttons. So hopefully that will um, be on your calendar. MailerMomBootCamp.com is the URL for that one. And I can't wait to get this year kicked off with all of you. Thank you.